Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hannah and today's video is going to be a pregnancy update for week 23. This week's list is quite short. There wasn't much new things that I noticed, like new symptoms happening, but I did notice um, with like food wise, I'm able to eat some of the things that I wasn't able to eat at least in the first trimester and most of this most of the first half of the second trimester basically I can eat onion and garlic now I have no problem with them um, I tried alfredo a few weeks ago I'm still kind of like oh not so much and bacon and mushrooms I'm too scared to try because I don't want to I don't want to be like yay I can eat it and then have some and be like oh, okay cannot have it and then be stuck having it and not wanting it another thing that I've noticed that isn't happening or has changed from the last updates is that my hip doesn't pop when I walk anymore like even if I like were to twist or whatever it still it doesn't pop so that's good the uncomfortableness of that is gone away and my back doesn't hurt as much when I'm just standing up. If we go for a walk, of course, my back is like, oh my gosh, I need some relief. But if I just like stand up for the morning, my back doesn't hurt. So that's good. And I'm glad because that was really annoying. On to the new things that I've noticed for week 23. And I'm going to start, I guess, with food. Um, I put, I don't ever know what to eat. There's no cravings or wants. I know I need to eat and I might be hungry, but no food sounds appealing. It's not appalling, but it's not appealing. So, like, my husband can just, like, name off a whole bunch of different food places. And I'll be like, nah. Like, I don't want any of that. I could probably eat at all of the places that he said, but I just, like, there's no, like, no desire for any of it. It's not appalling. It's just, I just, like, don't. I don't know what to have. So that's kind of annoying because I just, I would like to know what to have, but I can't make up my mind. And then whenever we go get something, I'm just like, mm, this wasn't what I wanted, but I can't figure out what I want. The last two things that I've noted for week 23, and they kind of go hand in hand, and it's one, the baby has been kicking and moving around with a lot more force, and Two, the baby has been kicking my bladder whenever I don't have to pee, and it makes me feel like I have to pee. And it's really annoying. I will have just gone to the bathroom, and the baby will kick me so hard in the bladder that I feel like I'm going to pee myself. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Can we not do that? But of course, I would rather it be kicking than not kicking, but I'm just like, give mommy a break. Kick somewhere else for a change, especially after I've just gone to the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be reading off of my Pregnancy Plus app. This is what baby looks like at week 23, or so the app says. Just sleeping away, like it always is every week. So the information says that it is 11.38 inches, and it is 1.1 pounds, which I don't know if that poundage is correct, because at the ultrasound last week, um, the baby was 1.02 pounds, and so it could be the same, it could be a little bit more, I'm not sure, um, but that is at least what the app says. The rest of the information says your baby's hair is beginning to change to the color that it will have at birth, which is so cool. Also, I've heard that when your baby grows hair in your womb, you get heartburn. I haven't had any heartburn, so I don't know what's happening with that. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have a bald child, but if we do, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but I just haven't had any heartburn like I was expecting. You know how people say they get heartburn whenever the baby's hair is growing. I don't know, but I haven't gotten it. The lungs are producing a substance called surfactant. That prevents the lungs from sticking together. That's important. Loud noises may startle your baby, causing a sudden jolt in your uterus. Interesting. Very interesting. I haven't I haven't noticed anything, but also I don't think there's any been any loud noises happening around me. And for grins and giggles, um, the baby is again the size of a fruit pie or 
a Maltese puppy still, or again, the size of an eggplant. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. That's all for my pregnancy update for week 23. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Every